New Delhi, I-League clubs have urged the Asian Football Confederation to address deviations from Indian football's roadmap and ensure that all agreed-upon features of it by its stakeholders should be honoured as per the document. The president of the newly formed I-League Clubs Association Ranjit Bajaj has written a letter to AFC General Secretary Dr. Windsor John on Wednesday in which he has expressed concerns over implementation of the roadmap that was agreed upon in 2019. In the letter, a copy of which is with News 9 Sports, Bajaj has highlighted how I-League clubs were relegated to the second division overnight and spots reserved for them for AFC competitions were stripped and handed over on a platter to the Indian Super League. He reminded John that despite this unfair trade-off, and after expressing their apprehensions, it was due to the AFC Secretary's personal reassurance of the continental governing body ensuring strict adherence to the roadmap that the I-League clubs reluctantly agreed to its terms. As per the roadmap, the ISL became the topmost league from 2019-20 and as a special compensation, the AFC allowed the winning ISL club to represent India in the AFC Champions League playoffs, and the I-League winner got an AFC Cup playoff berth. The roadmap also opened a pathway for two I-League clubs entry into the ISL by the end of the 2020-21 season, subject to the criteria being fulfilled. It was also agreed that starting from the 2022-23 season, the winner of I-League will stand a chance to be promoted to the ISL with no participation fee, basis fulfilling sporting merit and the IFS national club licensing criteria. From 2024-25, it was agreed to fully implement promotion and relegation into the top league, and abolition of two parallel leagues. However, certain deviations from the roadmap have already occurred. For instance, the AFC Cup playoff spot has been allocated to the winner of the Super Cup, contrary to the agreed-upon allocation to winner of I-League, Bajaj pointed out. Furthermore, there are discussions suggesting that the full implementation of promotion and relegation may not occur as expected, potentially delaying the progress outlined in the roadmap. Following IFE President Kalyan Chobi's advocating exemption of relegation citing a purported exalted gap between the top flight ISL and the second division I-League, I-Clubs had engaged in a meeting with the Federation's acting General Secretary M. Sotunayan on April 20 in Bengaluru and had then shot off a letter expressing their concerns. The IFE have promised to hold a meeting to address their concerns later this month. They have aired their concerns. We will now deliberate over them in our meetings. Let's see how much of what the clubs have raised could be addressed, Sotunayan told News 9 Sports on May 1.